Welcome back, everybody, to the next uh, Let's Play Chrono Trigger episode. And um, when we left off, we had just gotten some really, really good gear, including the Rainbow Sword, which is Chrono's best weapon. In this version of the game, in the Nintendo DS version, there's a bonus dungeon after you beat the game. And uh, you get the real Chrono. Chrono's real true weapon, I forgot what it's called, it Dream Sword or some shit. Okay, where are we gonna go now? Um, I guess we could do... Oh man, we still got one... Two... Three, like, four side quests left. Oh god. Two of them are in 600 AD. Technically three of them are. We're not going to do that. <sighs> I want Ayla in my party. This is Oz, the great Ozzy's place. What? Whoa! You, you're the great Magus! You're doing well, Ozzy. The nerve deserting your fellow mystics to serve these humans. You're a traitor! You're not our king! Why did you desert us? Kilo down good for nothings. Oh, I'll have you begging for mercy. Flee! Oh, it's plea again. You sent for me. Well, if it isn't Sir Magus, you'd bribe to get in here. Who'd you bribe to get in here? Trade us like you deserve a beating. Oh, great Ozzy, stand back and let me take care of these cretins. I'm counting on your flea. Get ready for a slapping good time, get it? No. I believe I can charm flee. Yeah, no, I didn't have anything. Um, See what I got here. Drop kick. Ooh. Bitch. Oh, just you wait. We'll teach you a lesson. Bye bye. Hi. Uh, forgot to heal everybody. Anyone who tries to steal my treasure is looking for a very cruel death. Oh no, not a cruel death, no. Uh-oh. And away we go! Slash. 
Crash, don't let me uh, don't let me down. At first I really didn't want to slice and dice you, but now it sounds kinda of fun. Ready? Uh yeah, I guess. Have a go. Uh, kick. <laughs> Ouch! He just runs away. Come on, sweetheart. This is funny. Don't you want the treasure box? Probably filled with goodies. <laughs> Found the treasure. Nothing's stumped. Out of here. <laughs> Walk down here and gray plus gloom cape, uh, gloom helm, and doom sickle. Which are Magus's best equips, I believe. Actually, I believe. Yeah, t uh, okay, it uh, ups the power, uh, ups attack power when an ally is knocked out. I think if one ally is knocked out, power goes up 20% or something, and like power goes up like 100% or something, two allies are down. You know, you stop doing that, so get this. Oh, a full ether. That's not bad. <sighs> not so fast, friends. I'm not going to make it that easy for you. Aussie pants. Free vest. Slasher 2. These only got him to make us invincible. Okay, this is fun. Um, I'm gonna get you to charm that. Okay, got the Aussie pants. Basically, you want to charm the items that he just said they had. <laughs> they're not going to do a whole lot of damage. Uh, they're, they're three, you know, person attack. Does a good chunk of damage, but it's nothing to worry about. Ozzy pants are pretty good, but I never really understood them. Okay, got one more. That's slash two. Each of them have a triple tech that they can lead off of. So, as soon as we get this last one, we'll start picking them off. Now I got a slasher two. This is why I wanted a on my team. All right, now we kill them. Guess we'll start with Ozzy. Actually, I like to start with Slash. I don't know why I did that. A great Ozzy Super Slash and Fleet Plus. I just noticed. Yeah, that's why I like to start with him, because he's, he's annoying. He can attack twice, I'll leave him row. <sighs> okay, guys. Okay, I get it. Got a drop kick. Got a dark bomb. I don't believe he's going to counterattack everything I do. Should be it. They only have about 4,000 HP, 3,000 HP a piece. It's not a lot. Okay, the bomb and drop kick. I 
Oh, you bitch. I've never had fl uh, Flea run away before. Let's see what her damage is with the Sunshades. Not bad. Switch!
Hopefully Frog actually takes care of one or two. Yeah. Well, water doesn't kill it weakens, so... Is there a chest over here? Yes, there is. Ugh. Okay, um, basically this place appears, it will only appear if in 12,000 BC, you know, when you go back to Zeo and you tell that woman to plant the seed. If you tell her to plant it, oh yeah, it's a lot of damage. Then it, it, it gets passed down to Fiona's villa, where Fiona tries to plant a huge forest in this you know, desert. But she can't do it because something under the ground is preventing the plants from growing. And unless you step in to do something, she's going to fail. And of course, in a thousand AD, it's just a big pile of nothing here. But, if I go through here and clear out these monsters... Kill anything? Uh, okay. Let's see if there are any more chests in here. Yes, there is. An elixir. Sweet. There's one more chest. I don't know whose side quest this would be considered. Actually, I do. I think this is Luca's side quest. At least that's what I would consider. I would consider it Luca's side quest. Mainly because of what happens during it. Everything. Okay, we got it. We know it's gonna happen. Sorry, guys. Okay. Aeon suit. Ooh, another chest. What be this? Be a pain in the ass, frog. <laughs> they make forest into desert. How to slay the monsters within the earth is a very difficult task. Okay, five thousand. Basically, what you want to do is you want to run around. Muscle ring. Recap. Well, ether. I'm gonna stop it here, actually. We're gonna stop it in the middle. There we go. I'm gonna pause it. When we come back, we're gonna go find this little monster and try to kick its ass. So, stay tuned.